So I'm back from my trip to Mexico City with um, the International Watercolor Society. Now, I didn't expect to buy a lot of things. Um, I was warned ahead of time that, you know, well, I kind of knew this already, that um, any of the stores would have things that I could get at home and probably for cheaper. Um, but I still want to go to an art supply store. So uh, one of the trips that we did, we went out to, um, it's a whole cultural complex just outside of um, uh, Kaioken, where we were uh, situated. And it had a Casa Sera, so we'll get to that in a minute. Um, most of the shops there, it's not like um, stores in North America where you can go in and, you know, look at things yourself. You kind of have to ask them to bring it to you. And then even um, they won't hand you the goods until you go to another cash register to pay and then they'll give you the goods. Um, so, it, you know, I know a lot of artists prefer to be able to touch and feel things like I do. Um, although a lot of us have got more used to not seeing anything um, because we're ordering online. But yeah, that's kind of why you want to go into an art store is to see the things up close, see the color, um, especially the color. Um, but yeah, so that's what the stores were like. So I did not get very much I don't need very much. I didn't need anything for while I was there because I brought enough supplies that I didn't need to buy any paper or anything like that. But I ended up buying paper and a couple other things. So let's see. And there's going to be a video of um, the art stores of uh, Mexico City. And also I'll update my list of art stores. Um, on my website because I have a list of different art stores in Toronto and LA, New York, um, but I'll add Mexico City just in case you happen to be there. And I got some other art related but not art supplies um, things so let's get to those first. Now you probably know the artist Frida Kahlo and we went to her museum, which is in um, her former home, Casa Azul. And this is a little uh, fridge magnet that I got. I always buy my mom a fridge magnet from where, wherever I am. And um, avoid contact with water. Um, so I bought that at the museum gift shop. It's, um, you have to book well in advance to get tickets. I don't think you can buy any, they're usually sold out um, on the day. So it's something that you have to plan ahead for. Uh, it's not a big space and it's really, at least the day that we went and I saw lineups afterwards, um, it's really kind of packed in. So um, in the actual museum, I didn't spend a, a lot of time. I We went with our group and um, I spent most of the time just sitting in the gardens of the place. So, and they also had a side exhibit of her um, clothing, which was actually really interesting. So did that as well. I would have liked to have had my art supplies with me, but you have to put your bags, you have to check them. And um, I would like to have done some sketches while I was in the garden, but oh well. It was the end of the day. It had got quite warm. Um, so I was just very happy to sit and chat to um, my fellow attendees. And um, yeah, so I got this for my mom. I got a little pin because it was cute. I know I shouldn't really be <laughs> encouraging the image of um, Frida to be used like this, but so there is that. I also got a mug, which I'll have to show a picture of because it's in the sink right now. Um, the place that I was staying had a little tiny mugs and I like to have a cup of tea or a coffee in the morning. 
and I like a big mug. So I got a big mug. <laughs> it holds a lot of um, tea or coffee. So I had that for, we went on the Wednesday, so I had that for the, the next couple of days that I was in the apartment. So that was from the Frida Kellum Museum. Then I stayed in the historic district after the workshop ended and I went to, you know, I'll have to put the name of the, the art store up here. Um, it was one of those art stores where you have to go in and ask for things, although they had this sitting out so you could pick it up yourself. So I got this and I also got, I just forgot, just a sec. I also got these acrylic markers, which I've seen mostly European um, artists using, like Koshikuna. Um, they're like your, you know, your Posca pen, like that. They have much the same nib. There's different sizes. So it's a little bullet nib. A little chunkier for this one. And I just thought it'd be nice to add to the collection. They kind of match in with some of the colors I already have, like these ones. Like the two Edding pens that I got and the Molotov one. So, so they match in with that, but they're smaller um, sizes. Those are big, chunky ones so I can do more detail work in those colors. So that was from that art supply store. I went into another but I didn't buy anything and in the other one uh, you can mostly um, go and pick things out for yourself. So it was much more like the stores that you would find anywhere in North America. And then we also got a goodie bag of things. Um, there's this brush, it's just a cheap flat brush, pencil, a uh, piece of bow hung paper, which I've never used before, and two calendars from the um, Mexico Museum Nacional de la Aquala Afredo Guati Rojo. Uh, that's the name of the museum that we were at. And this was one of the um, instructors, Terry Lohero. And this is calendar of her work. It's really nice, really nice work. And it was great, a really great trip and learned a lot. And I also brought my own paints, my auto watercolors. I brought those down um, for people to check out. But there was also a, and everyone got a, a, a dot card of some of the colors that I have been inspired by um, Distillery District in Toronto. So they got that in their little package like so and I got one too even <laughs> they're just done for everybody so and we also got a dot card of um, Terry's uh, favorite Daniel Smith watercolors and so I didn't use that because I had my own and we also got a sketchbook by Da Vinci I don't know this brand and I didn't use it, so can't really tell you much about it because I had two sketchbooks. Uh, one that I've nearly filled and I will be doing a, uh, a whole, uh, what's the word? <laughs> I just got off the plane. Um, not that it was that far, but um, a whole sketchbook tour from that, that trip. And this was just our, our um, workshop schedule and the places that we were meeting up and staying at. So 
So there's Frida Kahlo Museum and then I stayed nearby that. So, <coughs> excuse me, there's the auto watercolors that I brought and gave everyone a full half, half pan as well. So getting to what I bought at Casasera. Yep, more watercolor and a brush. And I just love the way that they wrapped the brush. It's so lovely. And that's one thing when, you know, you have to choose parcels like the, or supplies like that and go through a whole system. They wrap them really nicely. So this is um, their own brand made in Germany, but for Sarah, Mexico. And so we will test that out. And then they have their own uh, watercolor. And they're really, really beautifully presented. And it's in a tin, almost exactly the same as mine. And there they are. So they put a little hole through um, the wrapper so that you can see the color. And now you know, like, sometimes it can be different. You know, there's some colors that look really, really dark when they're dry, but they quite different. So these are the colors, and aren't those pretty? I think those are rather lovely. So I will get to unwrapping them. So I unwrapped these off camera just to save some time and um, frustration. And um, you know, not to put you through that whole thing because some of them are a little tricky to get off. As you can probably see, they got stuck. The paper got stuck. And some of the magnets fell off. They were just lightly glued onto the backs. So, and I also wanted to look up, um, they wrote names on the sides, so that's Narania, orange. Um, so it's got a kind of pearlescent quality, and most of them do, which I didn't really know ahead of time. Uh, this one is pink. <laughs> So that was easy and I'll go I'll name them when I start to swatch them out I think that makes more sense so I'm going to use this new brush from the store and we will start take them out we will start with the orange and I may want to just spritz these to get them going. Just make sure I get a good amount on. So that's the orange. And this is just uh, Fabriano paper. Nothing special. Here's the pink, which had a little bit of something else on it. I think the gold. And once again, my nails are in awful state because I've been away for a week and they broke several times, especially in the last couple of days. And this one is Ah, no, they're all wet. <laughs> Probably should have taken them out first. Okay, this is Aztec Gold. Kind of just dances 
little particles just kind of dance around. But it'll probably start to here once it dries. And this one is Belgian pink. I think that's what. Yep. This is sort of like the rose gold that I make. Very, very similar. And this one, I'm not really sure um, what the name is. I want to say that's grape. Yeah, grape. So, Ufa. One of the little hairs came off. Let's try this one. It's just easier. They're not in any sort of particular order. This is neon yellow. It's a really, really bright, bright highlighter pen kind of yellow. Grab this one. And this is, oh, this is um, their own blue. That's a really nice blue. But again, that's like a pearlescent blue. I don't really use pearlescent colors, but they have their place. This wouldn't be a set that I would, you know, take out urban sketching. And this one is simply red. Not like the band, just that it's oh. <laughs> just that it's red. You can see all my mistakes today. Isn't that fun? I didn't really have a lot of sleep while I was away. Where I was staying was pretty loud during the night. And then there was a festival. And they got up really early to set off fireworks. So this is neon green. So that was a bit of a surprise. I was already awake. We kept waking up at 4 a.m. for some reason. And so did the, um, the organizer, too. We were both kind of a mess when it came to sleeping. I thought staying out on my own would mean I would get better sleep, but that backfired. So this one is coffee. And then we have Lago or lake, and I'm not really sure what that is. It's a really nice blue, but again, I think there's a little bit of pearlescence to it. So we'll just let that dry and I will show you what they look like. But as always, I will put a um, swatch.
swatch card up on my website and I will include these guys. that's the thick pen and slightly thinner ones so as you see the way they Shimmer in the change of light is kind of neat. And there's an up close of the acrylic pens. So that's everything dried now. Shimmery color, and off camera, I cut up these little stamps. I guess they are um, to add to my my sketchbook, my travel sketchbook, because I have little elements from the trip pasted in there. So I'm gonna add those. Face not, what not? They're really cute, and it adds to the memory of when you're going through a travel sketchbook of not just the things that you sketch, but you know, the tickets to things or cards from restaurants or whatever, it just all adds to the making of a memory. And that was what I got from Casasera and all the rest. Thanks so much. Bye.